Item number SCP-1004 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures All copies of SCP-1004-1 and-2 are to be kept in Secure Containment Locker 17 at Site-37. At no point are any copies of SCP-1004 to be used for recreational purposes. Following the events of Incident 1004-Dale, researchers are no longer allowed to view the output of SCP-1004, even when filtered or via secondary device. Only D-Class are allowed to view the output of SCP-1004. Use of SCP-1133-7 and SCP-894 instances by researchers and control subjects has been approved where deemed appropriate in preventing undesired spread of SCP-1004's effects. The Foundation has set out to prevent anyone from receiving copies of SCP-1004 by a planned and ordered process of unrequested electronic mailings, many of which include computer viruses, malware, or electronic worms. A program has also been designed and disseminated to all electronic mail providers to help prevent SCP-1004 from spreading. SCP-1004 is a computer program, found on either a CD SCP-1004-2 or a 3.5-inch diskette SCP-1004-1, either of which will be hand-labeled with the words Factory Porn. Contained on these disks is a single executable file labeled the Factory.exe, a 1 kilobyte program. Running the program results in a window opening on the computer, within which the Factory logo is displayed. The logo fades to black and is replaced by the words, What would you like to see? At this point, the user may input any selection of words, from the ambiguous to the precise. Once a request has been input, the program will pull up several dozen images of pornographic content each of which leads to a full video on the subject. Many of these videos appear to have never been made in real life. Watching videos on SCP-1004 have a cumulative effect. The more pornography a user views, the more disturbing their sexual desires become, and the harder sexual gratification becomes. After approximately 100 straight hours of viewing pornography on SCP-1004, even the most normal of viewers will display an interest in scatology play the torture and murder of living beings, bestiality, pedophilia, and combinations of the previous. The deadening of reactivity to sexual gratification will encourage them to either seek out such things in real life, or seek to mutilate themselves and their genitalia. It should be noted that SCP-1004 displays no compulsive properties. Users are free at any time to stop using the program. The majority of users continue to use SCP-1004 because it is the easiest way to find the desired pornography. As stated above, any word or combination of words may be entered. This has been used by many victims to view popular members of high social standing in the bedroom, giving rise to many rumors of celebrity sex tapes. The thought has been posited that such videos could be used for the blackmailing of politicians who are antithetical to the Foundation's cause. Unfortunately, at this time, all attempts to make recordings of SCP-1004 have resulted in only tape static. Several researchers have claimed to be able to see humanoid shapes moving in the static, but this effect has not been seen on subsequent playthroughs. SCP-1004 appears to spread through the use of electronic messages, sent seemingly at random. Messages generally claim to have certain celebrity performing sexual acts, or to have certain depraved acts on tape that are illegal in many jurisdictions. A link included in the message requests users to enter their home address. The resulting copy of SCP-1004 show up in a plain brown wrapper within three days, through bulk mail with no return address. The Foundation currently contains 37 copies of SCP-1004-1 and 23 copies of SCP-1004-2. Incident 1004-Dale Researcher Adam Dale was found to be encouraging D-Class subjects to watch SCP-1004, and to copulate with each other for its pleasure. It was determined Researcher Dale had been affected by SCP-1004, despite never having watched it directly, only monitoring the test through a video feed. Any and all indirect viewing of SCP-1004 has been cancelled.